Why can I no longer read like I did when I was a kid? When I was at uni I wrote a paper on the way in which information is presented to people has changed over the years. We are bombarded with concise snippets of information, short headlines and brief articles. Over the years our brains have become used to skimming information and it has caused us to lose our ability to focus on lengthy bodies of text. Look at how newspapers have had to adapt. What was once a physical paper with tight spaced columns of information. Now it is shorter and more concise digital articles to be read on the go. The good news is you can train your brain to be used to the old format of information. Take some time each day or week to read a book that interests you. And over time you will gain back your focus. And it's not so much that you have lost your attention span, but rather your brain has become very effective at extracting information from the sea of sources available to it. I am the same. Read a lot when I was younger and I hadn't read in the past 10 years or so. When lockdown started, for us it was in March. I made an effort to start again. Turned of the TV. No music in my phone without sound out of reaching distance. Made sure I had something to drink and eat with me and just really sat down for it. Now I am reading the fifth book this year and it is easier to concentrate and not get distracted by the world. I always try to read for at least 15 minutes and usually I get into it and read a lot longer. So my advice would be to just do it. It will get easier. It's the phase in your life. Once it's less stressful and you've truly settled into adulthood you will once again have the capacity to engage with literature. If you have depression and or anxiety you should seek help if you're able to. Because that is most definitely a hindrance when it comes to concentration and finding enjoyment in pretty much every activity. Practice. Bet you can't run like you used to either. But with practice those skills come back. Funnily enough, I just rewatched CGP Giari's video about attention where he talks about the same problem you are facing right now. Watch that video, no skipping or peeking at the comments. Just watch the whole thing, and you might get some answers. I haven't read through the other comments so my apologies if this has already been said. I'm 24 and I have the same issue as you. I used to regularly finish in the top 10 in reading contests as a child. I would create book lists for myself and have goals of what to read over the summer. As soon as I had access to technology. At 15, I noticed my reading decreasing. I think there are many factors. 1. As a child, the activities you can do are limited. You are typically stuck at home finding stuff to do. Reading is an adventure you can have from home. Now as adults, we have the freedom to go and do what we want, when we want, to some degree. 2. Personally, my childhood was not great. I didn't have many friends, no siblings, and my time for activities was limited. TV maximum 2 hours a day, computer maximum 1. Reading was a way me to make friends live another life. 3. Technology is addicting. I have a hard time focusing on any task without checking my phone from time to time. 4. I had limited TV access as a child. Now I can watch it however much I want, giving me the ability to immerse myself in the story without doing the mental work of reading the words. I like to go camping and I usually bring books on those trips and actually read. I don't have the distraction of TV. I often don't have cell phone service, and I find it easier to focus because I'm not shirking responsibility in order to read. I still have a hard time getting into books now, but once I get hooked it's hard for me to put the book down. How much time do you spend on your phone? Your brain has been rewired. I can read better now than when I was a kid due to how much time I spent scrolling social media. It's probably about taking the time for yourself, just to read. In my experience, the more we grow up, 
The more information we're fed from so many different sources, it's easy to overload. I think reading a book is about taking a step back and slowing down. It's about stopping scratching the surface and diving deep into the content. It might need a bit of brain rewiring at the start, but everybody can do it. Me too. I used to be able to read so am UCB in one sitting. Now I can't even read for 10 minutes. Same thing when I'm studying. Really frustrating. I am in the same predicament and it is depressing as hell. I used to actually read classic and modern literature and now I have like 5 books I am reading that are unfinished. I honestly think the internet has harmed humanity in many, many ways. ADHD for sure. I have the same problem and it gets worse. I'm over 25. Have you considered audiobooks? I like when someone a story. And I find I have more time to dedicate to books when I'm on my commute or going throughout my day. It's tough to dedicate time to sitting down and actually engaging in the act of reading. But a little easier when it's more of a passive activity. I love the Dresden Files and have heard all 16 on audiobook. I simply wouldn't have the time to otherwise. I agree with what others have said about how technology is changing the way we are programmed to receive information. That being said, I had a hard time reading for the last six years or so, but decided to start reading again. I have been a big reader most of my life. Starting with audiobooks really helped me. I could keep my hands busy while still getting into a book. Eventually I was better able to actually sit and read. I still find just sitting difficult. My hands want to move and brain skips more. But it's gotten better. The past few months I've been reading about a book a week. Versus. The one to two a year I'd been doing. So retraining is possible. It also helps to have bookish friends to talk to about what we are reading and get suggestions from. Good luck! There's also time. As a kid you could just read. As an adult there's a lot more going on. My favorite author just released a new book. So in three days I reread the last one in the series and read the new one. But as I read I was aware that I have a commission half done on my shelf. I need to up my stock levels to deliver to shops. The house is a mess. Etc. Etc. There isn't as much freedom to just get lost in a story. Totally not answering your question here, but I just started Paolini's new book today. To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. And I'm totally hooked. You might enjoy it. Especially if you loved Aragon too. But maybe it'll capture your interest more since it's an entirely new story. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.